Okay, we've just completed our adjusting journal entries. It's time to move on and put those adjusting journal entries into our adjusted trial balance. I've removed everything. Just It's easy enough on a computer. I've just copied up all of my journal entries from part one. And we're just going to transfer those numbers into the adjusted trial balance column. I just want to give you a quick look behind the curtain here. Uh, when I finish a video and I start the next one, I just start right away. I just go, okay, stop start and the reason i stop is if i make a mistake or something like that but i always take a drink in between and uh uh if you notice something let's see how do i go full screen that's his, that's my full screen uh a coke just exploded all over my shirt so if you're noticing i look a little bit off or you're seeing the stain that's what happened i was just taking a drink and i don't know what happened it just went everywhere all over my computer all over my shirt so hopefully uh we all can cope with that um okay uh so our first job here in preparing our adjusted trial balance is literally just to write these numbers in here literally i i'm trying not to say that word anymore uh debit supplies expense credit supplies so i'm going to literally find the word supplies expense there it is and under the debit side i write forty seven hundred dollars i credit supplies and supplies is under assets there it is forty seven hundred uh, debit insurance expense, credit prepaid insurance, 9333. So I find my insurance expense somewhere in the expenses. There it is, 9333. And I credit prepaid insurance, 9333. It's a little bit painstaking. You just got to be careful. Take your time here. Debit depreciation expense, 21400 Credit accumulated depreciation computers, 21400 Debit interest expense, credit interest payable, twelve fifty. There's my interest expense. There's my interest payable. Oops, I almost did twenty one fifty. Good way to mess up a problem. Just transpose two numbers. Debit unearned security revenue, credit security revenue, ten thousand. Debit unearned security revenue, ten thousand. Now I know, and we've seen this uh, when we did our journal entries, we actually credit security revenue twice. We credit it here and then in journal entry G. So I either got to make room in the cell for it or just know that, okay, I got 10,000 credit and a 4,000 credit. So when I go to my security revenue cell uh, on this spreadsheet or whatever you want to call it, I can just put 10,000 and I'm going to squeeze it over to the left because I know I got another 4,000 coming that I'm going to add in in just a minute. So that's what I'll do here. Uh, debit salaries expense, credit salaries payable, 1500 Salaries expense, 1500 Salaries payable, 1500 Debit AR, credit security revenue, 4000 There's my AR, 4000 My security revenue, I just add in 4000 thousand uh if i had just written fourteen thousand in that cell that's totally fine okay so we've done the first part here we just have to add up both columns and make sure things work uh four thousand plus ten thousand plus fifteen hundred plus twelve fifty plus twenty one thousand four hundred plus forty seven hundred Plus 9333. 52183521835183. Double underline there. And let's add up the other side. 4700 plus 9333 plus 214 plus 1500 plus 1250 plus 10,000 plus 4,000. So I'll add 14,000. 52183, my two sides do indeed match. That's good news. If they didn't match, I would stop here because, of course, all my journal entries, the debits equal the credits, and this is just transferring the journal entries, so I would have transferred something wrong. Maybe I put something in the debit side that should have been a credit or vice versa, or maybe I transposed the number. But this has to add up, and if it doesn't add up, stop. Like, stop, you've made a mistake. Uh, okay, moving over to the adjusted trial balance now. With this row we just add our unadjusted plus our adjustments so uh cash 38 grand debit there's no adjustments so it ends as a 38 grand debit 
accounts receivable, 12,000, and I debit that 4,000. So if I have two debits, add them together. 12 plus 4 is 16. With supplies, I've got a debit of 5 and I adjust a credit of 4,700. So I take the big one, the 5, minus the smaller one, 4,700, because i got a debit and a credit. 5 minus 4,700 is 300. The big side gets the balance. And that number is familiar to me. If we look down at the problem, you can see a count of supplies reveals 300 were on hand on June 30th. Well, guess what? Today's June 30th, and our accounting records show $300 of supplies, as they should. So that's good news. Prepaid insurance, $28,093.33. Uh, I got a debit of 28, a credit of 93.33. I'm going to have to use the calculator for this. 28,000 debit minus 93.33. The big one minus the small one. I get 18667 on the debit side here. 18667. Computers, 214,000. There it is. AD computers, 46 plus 21 is 67,000. 400 accounts payable 8000 it remains a credit salaries payable a credit of 1500 interest payable a credit of 1250 unearned security revenue it's a credit of 15 a debit of 10 the big side is the credit so 15 minus 10 is 5 and the credit side gets it. The credit side was the bigger of the two. This is one students screw up sometimes. They go 15 minus 10 and they get credit of 25 somehow or they get some funny numbers here for whatever reason. Credit uh, note payable, 30,000. It was unadjusted. Common shares, unadjusted. Retained earnings, unadjusted. Dividends, unadjusted. Uh, security revenue, 45 credit and 14 is our adjustments credit so 45 and 14 is 499 credit 320 debit and 1500 debit is 321 oops i'm in the wrong column there 321 500 debit interest expense 1250 debit depreciation expense 21400 debit 4700 debit for supplies Seventeen thousand dollars for repair expense, ninety-three thirty-three for insurance expense, sixty thousand for rent expense, and seven thousand for income tax expense. And at that point, we are ready to rock here. Let's total everything up. So totaling the left side, thirty-eight thousand plus sixteen thousand plus three hundred plus eighteen six six seven plus 214,000, plus 10,000, plus 321,500, plus 1250, plus 21,400, plus 4,700, plus 17,000, plus 9,333, plus 60,000, plus 7, Thousand and I get seven thirty nine one fifty seven three nine one five zero oh, double underline there. Last column here sixty seven thousand four hundred plus eight thousand plus fifteen hundred plus twelve fifty plus five thousand plus thirty thousand plus forty thousand plus eighty seven thousand plus four nine nine oh 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 seven thirty nine one fifty they do match Whew. that means when i go to prepare financial statements my financial statements are going to work T technically we should put dollar signs at the top of each column and beside the bottom lines on both the adjustments section and the adjusted trial balance section but at that point we have prepared ourselves a very nice adjusted trial balance in our next video, we're going to look at the financial statements. Stay tuned.